Hey guys, this is Frank from the BI Forums, and in this Armor 3 related video, we're going to talk about how we're going to add mods to our dedicated server and enable those mods on the server. But as a disclaimer first, I just want to let you guys know that I'm using Windows 7 as an operating system, so if you have a different OS, then it may be a little bit different for you, as well as the fact that it may be a little bit different depending on the dedicated server provider you have. So for example, I have Pure Pings as my dedicated server provider, so if you have NFO servers, it may be a little bit different. But generally, it'll be pretty much the same. So anyway, to get started, let's talk about how we add mods to the server. So what you would do is basically, if you know where your Alma 3 directory is, you should already have mods on your computer. So what you got to do is open up an FTP program. You might have to download one. Uh, I use WinSCP, but another one that is also very good is FileZilla. I'll put them in the description of the video below if you need. And anyway, now that we're logged into the FTP of our uh, dedicated server, you can see on the left here, at least with WinSCP, this is our computer's Armor 3 directory, and on the right is our game server's Armor 3 directory. So, let's say there were no mods here. Obviously, I already have mods in my server, but if you wanted to drag a mod or get a mod on your server, you'd basically just have to drag it from your Armor 3 directory over to the server's Armor 3 directory, and that's it. You just drag over those mods. It might take a little bit to upload, but generally, that's how you do it, and that's how you upload the mods to your server. Now, this is what you got to do is you got to enable those mods on the server. So let's get into that. What you got to do is you got to go to your dedicated server provider's website, such as Pure Pings or Fragnet or whatever the fuck it is. You log in and then you go on the control panel of that dedicated server provider. And when you're in that control panel, usually every single dedicated server provider I've had has had a command line changer or some kind of command line thing. So in, in Pure Pings case, we have this little button right here. So we'll click on that. And generally, you'll have one text field, so let's pretend there's only one. And I'm just going to edit one of them. Let's go to this one. So, basically, by default, every dedicated server will allow you to edit the dash mod parameter when you go in this area, the command line changer. And all you have to do is type in the at whatever the mod folder name is. So, for example, if we go back into our Armor 3 directory real quick, you can see what the names of those mods are. Uh, excuse me. So basically, we have CBA. So at CBA underscore A3 is what we'll t type in for that. Underscore A3. And make sure you put a semicolon at the end of the mod. And then when to separate in between each mod. And then let's say we want to enable Task Force Radio. At Task underscore Force underscore Radio. Semicolon. And we basically do that for the rest of the mods we want to enable on the server. Now, there's all, also other commands that we can enable on the in the command line but what I had to do is I had to open up a ticket and ask for some assistance from the technical guys to for them to add those commands because you can't really do that through the dash mod thing so anyway I'm not gonna get into that that's how you basically do that you just click save and then you go back and then you set up your server and it should be good and that's basically how you enable mods on your server if you have any questions just let me know in the com comments section below and I will try to answer them as best as I can and but yeah generally this is how it works for all the servers so Hopefully it was helpful. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.